This is not D. Gazi 9 J. Gazi 0 Vu. Once again we are putting AS through its paces. Despite having done so, why? Because the first F pace S we tested was a first edition model. One of only 275 that will be produced by the British brand. The $71. 645 first edition wore a set of sticky summer ratted Pirelli P0 tires as standard equipment and for that reason it's not exactly the most representative version of Jaguar's new mass market SUV. So Jaguar sent us the Glacier White F Pace S shown here, which rides on 20 inch Goodyear Eagle F1 at SUV 4X4 tires as the standard fitment. In contrast to the first edition's 22-inch Pirellis, with the summer-tired first edition's big advantage in grip, one might assume our 4,421-pound test car, which was 80 pounds lighter than the first edition, would achieve considerably lower cornering limits on our 300-foot skid pad. Those assumptions, however, would be wrong. This f pace s managed to grip the tarmac at a respectable zero. 86 grams, just 0, 02 less than the first edition. Similarly, mashing the F Pace S's brake pedal resulted in an impressive 164 foot stopping distance from 70 mph, just 4 feet longer than the first edition required. Our only complaint was that the brake pedal feels a bit aloof in operation, even if stopping power is exemplary. Maybe it was our test car's 80-pound lighter curb weight or even some combination of unknowns. But this f pace S's 380 HP 3.0 liter supercharged V6 performed with slightly more gusto than did the same engine in the first edition. The 0 to 60 mph sprint took 5. 1 second. It hit 100 miles per hour in 12. 8 seconds. And the quarter mile passed in 13. 6 seconds at 103 miles per hour. That's against 5, 3, 13, 2, and 13, 9 at 102 miles per hour for the first edition. At